Oh, that's the money shot. Yeah. Oh, oh I don't know. Hey friend, good morning, Levi here. Welcome to the Left Coast Life. Today is an amazing day. We are going to be shooting a project with the GH5. We have, we've gotten our hands on a GH5. I'm really psyched about it. So today we're gonna to be heading up the mountain here behind me. <laughs> and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. We got bacon going on here. Things are good. Because you can never have too much bacon. Need more. All right, ready to go. And all the way up there. We have the Panasonic GH5. So today, it's all about uh, filming with the GH5. We're gonna shoot as much as we can and try to create a little micro dock of uh, this like highlighting experience. So, got the gear. The guys are already heading up, and uh, we gotta hurry up to catch them. We got drone batteries. So far, I would say things are going pretty well. We're going up. We're going up. Filming's going well. I feel like I've got enough like hiking up shots. It's really nice just being able to hold the GH5 in my hand and then just get a shot and continue to hold it. No sliders, no monopods. You get like a dead, steady shot. It's pretty rad. Look at that. Thoroughly exhausted, but we're so close. Check out this amazing ice up here, Nick. I'd say it's, it might be just a little bit too heavy. Oh, that's the money shot. Yeah, oh, oh I don't know. Disgusting. Professional. I won't be filmed with that lens. Levi, how are you liking the 10-bit 4K so far? <laughs> I think it's working well. It's kind of hard to tell until until we get it on a computer. But <laughs> good thing you brought one. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I accidentally like I was like, why is my front bag so heavy? Sure enough, I carried my laptop sure all the way up enough, here. I look in my bag after the hike to see what I may have brought that made it so heavy. I was already running late. I did. I felt bad. Okay, so this is the 35 to 100, essentially a 70 to the 200. The stabilization is crazy. Check this out. Obviously, we'll cut to the shot, but I'm doing a handheld shot at 100, and it's usable. That is crazy. I don't even need to be in 60 frames. Like that would be usable at 24 frames. I mean, obviously you could support it a little bit more, but. Otherwise, would you be using a monopod? Yeah. That's like another way of saying marvelous. Yeah, it is. Mar mar monopod marvelous. Like, right, like the last time that you touch the edge, you kind of yes. like, I love that moment. The, the part that you have in the is so cool. It's so good. Yeah. 
I've made like the biggest rookie mistake today. I have two batteries for this guy and I left one of them at the van because I was like, I should just like put it on charge for, for a little bit longer. And I left it there. And uh, if I had known that I only had one battery, I would have filmed a lot less on the way out. Uh, but now we get to play the game of guessing how much battery I have left and which shots are worth it. But this is real, real world scenario. I do forget things sometimes. Shots of me, ya. Yeah. The light is so good. I love when the, the wall back there is black. Yeah. And like the, the highliner gets illuminated. Just like so bright. Well, GH4 bat GH5 battery is dead. Nice try. So that means our shooting with the GH5 is done. We're losing light. I'm Levi Allen. I'm Levi Allen. I'm Levi Allen. And today was rad. <laughs> Did you have a fun time? I had a great time, yeah. 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 Thanks, for, thanks for coming up and rigging today. Thanks for getting involved. I know you were going to go either way, but... Yeah. So thank you for coming up. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for getting involved. Oh. Nick, thanks for getting involved. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Trisha from Panasonic can't thank you enough for hooking us up with uh, the GH5. So much thank. So much thank. <laughs> and also a huge thanks to Dwayne Bradley for letting me take it from his hands in his first day of even getting it. So thank you, thank you, Trisha and Dwayne. Huge thanks for making this possible. Definitely stoked to check out the footage. Not as stoked to hike down in wet, cold boots. Sit on your butt. <laughs> Sit on my bed. I, I need a shovel. I think I'm gonna put some waterproof pants on and just fucking have at her. Yeah. Okay, dude. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of it. The end of our big filming day with the GH5. I think things went fantastic. I'm really excited to cut this stuff together. Again, some of the big takeaways so far for me are incredible EVF. The eyepiece on it is amazing. The in-body stabilization is absolutely brilliant. Those shots were so smooth and it's all handheld. Really, really excited about all that stuff. And obviously the Codex, they're just some really good frame rate and resolution options coming out of such a small, powerful camera. So really excited about uh, adding this stuff together. Uh, if you enjoyed it, let me know because that piece will be released before this comes out. So if you haven't checked out the GH5 video yet, let me know what you think, I'd love to hear. I might do a full review Still not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not really like a review kind of guy. I care more about stories and making films and stuff like that. But um, so many people have been asking me for a review. So I might consider putting some thoughts together for something like that. Yeah, another big question was actually the autofocus. I've been getting a lot of questions about autofocus. And as of right now, uh, the autofocus isn't as good as it's going to be with the firmwares that are apparently coming. So it's really hard to get kind of like a consensus on... Um, how good is it actually going to be? It's a contrast-based autofocus system, so that makes me think that it won't be as strong as phase detection autofocused uh, in some ways. And I did some quick, quick tests, and the results I was getting so far aren't stunning, but then again, those aren't going to be the final things that uh, will be in the camera. So I don't know. The verdict is still up in the air on that one. If you like really, really need autofocus, I'd I don't know if this camera is the one for you. Well, we're just gonna have to wait and see, to be honest. But I think autofocus aside, all the other features that are there are pretty, are absolutely brilliant. Um, and so at 2,000 bucks plus lenses, that's a that's a pretty wicked steal for such a perf, perf, pa, for such a powerful package and such a robust setup. Like it just it seems like a camera that just really wants to be trusted and is worth putting your trust in which I haven't always felt with some of the Sony systems. I've always felt like, man, if I really try to like lean in and trust this camera, it might disappoint me and fail like my a6300 has for me. But uh, yeah, those are just my rambling thoughts. Uh, thanks for following along. Um, if you're sick of the camera stuff, don't worry. More adventures will come. 
And I uh, would love to have you a part of the Left Coast family. So hit up that subscribe button. It would be great to have you along. And that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, <laughs> life's better when you make stuff. <laughs>